Hi, in this video, we're going to use OneGP to make a video where we do motion control on an input image and lip sync simultaneously so that our output has the motion of the input control video and the character is talking as if it's lip syncing the words from the audio. So this is kind of a souped up version of Runway Act 2 where you get full body motion instead of just the upper body and the hands and you get the lip sync. We're not doing face control in this, but you do get a full dancing image. This video assumes you already know how to install WANGP. If you don't, I'll put a link in the comments to another video that gets you up and running in RunPod quickly. This is running in RunPod on an A4V. So we're gonna select the base Baltitalk Fusion 14 billion parameter model. So we're going to select transfer human motion on the control video process. And then we're going to leave the area process to whole frame. You can create a mask and just transfer the motion of the masked area of the control process video over to your reference image. But I actually have, I got better results with this whole frame of a video that is pretty clearly just showing a dancer. So we're going to drag in our dancer video. I just got this as a video from Pixabay. Then we're going to do inject only people and objects for our reference image. And then drag in our reference image here. We have our polar bear that we're going to make talk and dance at the same time. We're going to keep the background from the reference image. We're only having one person speaking, and then we're going to drag in a short MP3 to have him talk and write a really quick prompt. The polar bear is talking and dancing. And then we want this TikTok size, 9 by 16, like the input image. And then because it is a four second audio, we do 25 frames per second, so 200 frames total. The dancing video itself is five seconds, so this should work out. We're going to end up trimming a bit of the dance at the end. And we have 10 inference steps. We're going to use Tcash to make the generation faster. And then we're ready to generate. It's going to be two windows, which is automatically set up. Some learnings I had in playing around with this is that the dancer video matters quite a bit. I tried a horizontal dancer video and it actually made my output horizontal, even though the input, I still said nine by 16 and the reference image of the polar bear was still a nine by 16. So the control video is having more impact than you would think. And it also matters that the dancer is sort of the same size as the polar bear, so to speak, the, the character that you want to animate. I tried a different video where the dancer was larger within the screen, and then it really stretched the way the polar bear looked in a strange way. So the fact that this dancer and the polar bear are somewhat similar sizes, I think helped transfer the movement. So if you want good results, try to keep things on somewhat of the same scale. And here's our result. Set the block public access setting for your bucket. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.